Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, all of my foundation subscribers. Thank you. I love you so much. For all of my new subscribers, I love you. I love you. I love you right back. Thank you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Sagittarius, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. Uh, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Do not try to force the shoe to fit. It will only confuse you and I do not want that. So it either is your reading or it isn't or just take the parts of it that resonate with you. Like I said, feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is in my description box. If you are looking for uh, a live over the phone reading with me, uh, please click the Harmonic Wave link and we can bang that out and get it done. Okay. I was just going to say Leo. I just did the Leo reading, but I feel like some of you may be dealing with another fire sign that is a Leo mm -hmm, or an Aries. Okay, so as you can see, Sagittarius cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And we have here... Uh, there there was a song that was playing in my head um there was two songs the first song was Maya and Cisco uh, I know your parents are probably like well how old are you you know Maya and Cisco don't worry about that okay don't worry about it but um it was um it's all about me 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 forget about you 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 so what you wanna do babe do 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 Get up, get up, babe, get up, baby, baby, baby. So um, I feel like, Saggy, some of you were dealing with someone who was very selfish. Mm -hmm. They were selfish, they were self-centered, and they were also, um, they could have slept around on you a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also, I was hearing this other song, um, I don't even know who sings this song, uh, I can't get you off my mind. I can't get you off my mind. I keep calling my phone. I told you it's over. Leave me alone. Um, some of you, Sagis, you could have been in a situation or you currently are in a situation with someone where they're thinking about somebody else. They could be thinking about their ex or trying to figure out how to get to their ex or communicate with their ex, but their ex doesn't want them. Mm -hmm. So some of you... Uh, I, I feel very sad. I'm feeling like I want to cry right now, right? Uh, Sadies, you're very sad. You're trying to figure out what truly makes you happy. You have door to personal healing and happiness in reverse. You could be trying to figure out right now what truly makes you happy or in the past, this is something that happened in the past or this could be something that's coming up. Remember, there's no such thing as time, okay? It is an illusion. So you just put the energy where it goes, Okay. Also, for some of you, the roles may reverse and maybe saying uh, Sagittarius or you put the energy where it goes. You know if it's you, you know if it's not you. Okay. But uh, I feel a sadness within you, Sagittarius. Like your energy is very unhappy. You're trying to figure out what truly makes you happy now. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you could be just entering hermit mode. You're going within yourself. You may not even be feeling like speaking to people. You could be in an antisocial phase right now. You know, you don't want to be around much but anybody. Or if you have children, you just want to be with your kids, right? But you don't want to really speak to anyone. You don't really want to socialize or interact with anyone because you are, you're getting some spiritual enlightenment right now. You're really going within and looking at your life, looking at the choices and decisions that you made and where you are now and what you can do or what you want to do about them. Some of you... I feel like some of you have withdrew withdrew yourself from a situation or if you were in a relationship with someone, you may have found that you never really wanted to interact with them that much. You went into hermit mode. You went into yourself to figure out what is going on, what's really good for you. And that's great, Sagis, because your real answers always come from you, mm -hmm. not Google University. Uh, as much as there's all these great tarot readings on, you know, and I'm a tarot reader, right? But you always got to get your real answers from you. Mm -hmm. Because nobody knows what you really need but you. Mm -hmm. So that's really good that you decided to go within. 
and figure out what's good. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you, you needed to go into hermit mode because you needed to realize that you were special and that you were different. You needed to allow yourself to transform. It's like you were... I'm hearing resisting for a little while, resisting a transformation that's happening within you. Some of you, you just, I'm feeling an energy of like low self-esteem, low confidence, lack of love for yourself, lack of self-belief. Uh, some of you, you did not realize and recognize that you're unique. You are rare. You're like a motherfucking unicorn. Mm -hmm. And you needed to own it. Like it's okay to be different. You're not here to follow the crowd, Sagis. You're here to stand out, not fit in. And some of you, you needed to go within hermit mode to realize that. Now, I feel like you also went into hermit mode because you decided to stop fighting for something with somebody. Mm -hmm. Or stop fighting with somebody. Like I said, some of you could have realized or could have been with um, another fire sign, another uh, Aries or a Leo. But I feel like you stopped fighting with this person or you stopped fighting for this person. Stop fighting for the relationship with this person because you realize that you really weren't even happy with them. Mm -hmm. And it took for you to go within and really sit with yourself, sit with your emotions, be honest and true and real with yourself about something uh, that you did not recognize your own worth. Mm -hmm. I feel like for some of you, you could have been fighting for a relationship with someone because you thought that it made you. Uh, it made you worthy or it added value uh, to you. But you add value to yourself, Sajis. No one can make you happy. No one can, um, put, I, what can I say, put you on a pedestal. You have to put yourself there. No one can give you self-confidence. That It's called self-confidence for a reason. It comes from you. You understand what I'm saying? So you needed to feel unique and special and different and important within yourself. You needed to recognize your own worth within yourself uh, instead of looking for somebody else to do that for you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you going into hermit mode made you realize that you need to work on yourself and made you realize that you need to stop fighting for something with somebody or fighting for someone because you weren't even happy. Mm -hmm. Now you had a decision to make. You could have already made this decision or you're in the process of making this decision, but you had, I feel like you were, you went into hermit mode because you knew that you needed to decide if you wanted to move forward with someone, if you, or if you wanted to let them go. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you, this was a very difficult decision for you and you were in denial about it for a while. Some of you, I'm just going to talk the things because I summer stay some time. Some of you were in denial about a situation with somebody and you were making it seem like the relationship was all that and a bag of chips and it wasn't. Mm hmm it wasn't nothing and the chips bag was empty because you were not happy mm -hmm. and you were not healing. Nope. Some of you were afraid to speak up to someone and really let them know how you think and how you felt about things because I feel like you didn't want to rock the boat. You didn't want things to change. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I just felt this fear of not being confident in yourself, not believing in yourself, uh, not realizing that you are perfectly capable of standing on your own two feet with or without this person. You don't need to be with this person. You need to be with you. Mm -hmm. So some of you could have uh, been putting off making a very, very big decision. It could have caused a lot of stress. Uh, you could have avoided it because it would have been very painful. Some of you, had, you made a decision to walk away from your family mm -hmm. or, or break up your family, mm -hmm. to walk away from a marriage or a long-term um, common-law relationship where there was children. And I feel like a lot of you put off this decision because you weren't, you weren't focused on doing the right thing for yourself. No. And it's because you didn't know your own worth. And you were in denial about something. Some of you just, you knew something was wrong in a relationship, but you refused to acknowledge it. You understand what I'm saying? So you know that you're not happy, but you refuse to actually do something about it. It's like you were pretending to be happy in a situation for a long time, even though you know that you were not. Because I'm seeing here that it's like you thought that you were happy and you thought you had all these good memories with someone, but really you didn't. It's like you, you created a lie and you believed it and you created the story and you ran with it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was taking you a minute to make a decision because... A part of you is it was 
uh, inner conflict. A part of you was like, well, we, I have such a good time with them. And, you know, this is my family. You know, this is my partner. And I love them. But on the other side, you're like, I'm not happy. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't feel good within myself. I don't feel good in this relationship. So it was like you were fighting with yourself. Which way do I go? Which move do I make? What decision do I make? But Sagis, it looks like if you haven't made this decision already, you're going to. You got Ace of Cups in reverse, baby. Uh-huh. Right? So you're not going to give someone your cup anymore. Some of you, you lost passion for somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be with them anymore. And you realize that this person was really fucking selfish. Some of you remember that song earlier. Um, What is it? It's all about me, 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 me. Forget about you, 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 you. Maya and Cisco. Some of you, you realize that this person, they only care about themselves. Very selfish, very self-centered. It's all about them. Right? You didn't have no say. That's why you were like... Am I really happy? I think that I'm happy, but am I really happy? Mm -hmm. uh, some of you, you're in a situation with someone where it was unrequited love. Remember, it's all about me. It's not about you, Saji. It was about them. Mm -hmm. And what made them happy? Who gives a fuck about what's going on with you, Sagis? That's the energy that you were dealing with. So while you were pouring into someone else's cups, uh, deluding yourself to thinking that you were happy in a relationship... This person was going around giving their cups to other people. I picked up the energy of someone who was very fucking promiscuous. They were promiscuous. <laughs> promiscuous. They were from the fucking streets. And Sagis, if you don't know, now you know. I just put them on front page. Someone that you're with has been cheating on you. Right? Left, right, and center. And they just never thought that you would find out. I feel for some of you, this person doesn't even care if you find out anymore. Like, it's, it's at that point where they don't care. This person brought a lot of instability uh, within the relationship and within you, Sagis. They made you not feel like you were good enough. They made you feel like you weren't special, like you weren't important. You know, when you're in a relationship with someone who keeps cheating on you and you keep forgiving them, your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your self-value becomes eroded. You become insecure within yourself because you start saying, oh, is something wrong with me why they keep going to other people? No, ain't nothing wrong with you, honey. You're a motherfucking unicorn. You just don't know it. It's time for you to let them go. Because mm -hmm. when you know things like that, when you know you're important, when you know your worth, when you know your value, you do not put up with shit like this. It's like, oh, you want to be for the streets? Nigga, bye. Or bitch, bye. Ain't got time for this. Mm -hmm. There's 8 billion people on the planet. I can easily attract somebody who knows my worth because I know my worth. Sagis, it starts with you. You attract what you are, not what you want. Like attracts like. It's your vibration. If you do not feel like you are valuable, if you do not know your worth, if you do not love yourself, guess what? You're going to attract someone who is the same way. They're not going to value you. They're not going to know your worth, and they're not going to love you the way you deserve to be loved. You understand what I'm saying? Sagis, I feel like some of you, you, you may have taken a minute. Some of you took an hour, a long time to make a decision to let somebody go. But it got to a point where you lost passion for them and you did not want to be with them. This person, there was no intimacy in the relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. There was no creativity. You guys may not do anything. It's just same shit, different day, all right? Mm -hmm. It's like eating the same thing for dinner every day. After a while, it's like, no, I don't want this shit. It's boring. It's bland, right? This person brought instability, insecurity. There was no stability in this relationship. Mm -hmm. You did not know where you stood with them. You could have had two kids, three kids, five kids with this person. You really did not know if you were their only person. No, Sagis, you don't put up with this. You don't need this kind of, uh, that's not a relationship. That's called a situationship. Mm -hmm. And you also realize that this person is selfish as fuck. They don't give to people and they weren't giving to you. So you had a decision to make to let go of somebody. And I believe that you did. Mm-hmm. You separated from someone, you let someone go. You change things up. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sagis eventually you realized going into this hermit mode, it made you realize that you needed to be real with yourself and let someone go or let a situationship go with somebody. I'm seeing someone packing bags with their kids. Um, it's a sad scene. Uh, 
the kids and the mother are leaving and the kids are saying bye to their father or the father's leaving mm -hmm. and the kids are saying bye and they're crying. But you know what, sad is you got to do what's best for you because for a long time you weren't doing that. And you stayed in a situation where there was no healing and there was no happiness. And now you realize that it's very, very important for you to be happy in a relationship with, with someone. It, you realize it's very important to be happy with yourself. To be in a really good, loving relationship with yourself first. Hmm. Sagis, some of you could have realized that this person that you were with is still stuck on their ex. Uh-huh. Or just stuck on other people. Yes. And you may have been in... Um, I'm hearing deluded or uh, denial, denial about that. Some of you, you knew that when you got with this person that they were not fully healed from the past relationship and they brought that into the relationship with you. So you never really got this whole person, right? Because they never came into the relationship whole. For some of you, Sagis, this is you. You had not gotten over an ex and your heart was still kind of with the, the other person and with this person as well. And you realize that you needed to let this go. Just let it all go. Start fresh, moving forward in what's good for you. Mm -hmm. Someone caught someone or found some text messages or uh, uh, I'm hearing DM, direct messages of somebody reaching out to their ex. Uh huh. Someone has had pictures of their ex in their phone for like, I'm hearing five to seven years. They never deleted them. Never. And these are like sexy pictures of their ex. And Sagis, you could have found them. Mm -hmm. Some of you Sagis, you may be wondering why or you were wondering why the person you were with had such tight security on their phone. Someone had like uh, encryption finger, <laughs> bio encryption to unlock their phone. Like they had the fucking nuclear code on their phone. It's like, bro. Or bitch, why are you locking up your phone like that? What are you hiding? They were hiding a lot of shit, Saggy. They were lot, hiding a lot of shit. Some of you, Saggies, someone says that they're going to work and they, it's like they go to work and leave work early to go sleep with somebody and then come home and act like everything's cool. Mm -hmm. Someone started sleeping on the couch and that's because they're sleeping with other people. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing STD. Some of you said you need to be aware of this person. If you're still with this person and you're deciding what you need to do, Spirit wants you to know that this person could have an STD. I'm hearing fire crotch. Oh, jeez. Someone's burning, Sagis. Uh, use protection with this person or just don't fucking sleep with them. Mm -hmm. But I feel for some of you, Sagis, you know this, that this person's for the streets and they've been hiding things from you. So you may, you've lost desire for them. You don't trust them. Someone suspects that someone has someone else pregnant, something on, someone on the side, something on the side, someone on the side pregnant. Yeah. Listen to your intuition, Sagittarius. Listen to your intuition. And someone found some receipts or something for like a hotel or something, or you're going to. Yeah. But you find receipts of evidence, which just is evidence that someone's been cheating on you. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Sagittarius, I'm going to pull one last... One last word of guidance and advice from Spirit. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. What last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Sagittarian Collective? Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Okay, we have genuine connection. Oh, boy. Sagis. You know what I feel like? I feel like spirit wants you to leave this situation if you haven't left a situation already because there's someone else who's supposed to come into your life. Some of you, you're supposed to meet a new soulmate. Mm -hmm. And spirit wants you to know that this person is uh, in question is genuine, trustworthy, and caring. They're not going to be like the person you were with or you just left. Spirit wants you to work on building trust with a specific person, situation, or in a relationship. Some of you may be speaking to somebody already uh, and it's putting you in a, a decision of who to choose from. Some of you, your difficult decision to leave has to do with you being with somebody else, right? You can't decide who to be with, but Spirit wants you to know that the person that you're talking to now or that you, um, you're you wondering about being with this new person, Spirit said, go for them. 
Because the person that you're with now been on some fuck shit with you. Spirit wants you to work on building trust with a specific person, situation, or in a relationship. So this talks about, when you say building trust and stuff, this talks about taking time to get to know people. Spirit wants you to know it's safe for you to explore this relationship. Sagittarius, mm -hmm. if you are considering leaving someone for someone else, Spirit said go for the, uh, the new person. Okay? Go for the new person. They're better. They're a better option. Spirit also wants you to heal past hurts or heartbreaks that are blocking a special connection with somebody. I feel like some of you, you need to do your healing so that you can move forward and meet someone else. Call in a new soulmate. This is a very special soul connection that deserves a fair chance. Some of you, Sagittarius, you are staying or allowing yourself to stay stuck in a situation with someone that is not going to bear any fruit anymore. And spirit is ushering you out of that, right? Because spirit wants to bless you with somebody that you deserve and someone that deserves someone like you. This is a very special soul connection. It is divinely guided. Spirit said to pull one more. Okay, spirit. Okay. Spirit, what other words of guidance and advice do you have for the Sagittarian Collective? I feel like someone really needed to hear that because you've been on the fence for a minute about leaving somebody that you know you need to leave because you've met the right person for you. Or the right person for you is coming in. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants them to come in now, so you need to let go of the past. You need to heal from the hurts of the past. For those of you that... Um, this person is coming in. Spirit wants you to heal from what happened with this past person so that your energy is clear enough to accept them. You, you create a space for them to come to, okay? A clean, clear, open space for them to come to. If it comes out again, I'm going to pull it. But this came out for... Uh, this came out for Leo. Spirit, what uh, last words of guidance and advice for you do you have for the Sagittarian Collective? Thank you. Wow, this is your purpose. Your purpose involves being your true, authentic self. Sagis, this is spirit saying you need to be real with yourself. Some of you, spirit wants you to volunteer in order to find a deeper purpose and meaning in life. Uh, because I feel like some of you, you don't know that you are a motherfucking unicorn. Mm -hmm. Because you're not doing things that allow you, um, that bring meaning into your life, right? Some of you, spirit wants you to... Um, <laughs> Have the courage to speak your truth and to express yourself. Some of you, this is going to be a hard pill to swallow when it's going to take bravery and boldness and courage to let someone know that you don't want to be with them anymore. But Spirit wants you to speak your truth and speak it freely and express how you truly feel. Affirm that you are living your purpose each day. Uh, Spirit wants you to know as you fulfill a daily purpose, your greater life purpose will reveal itself over time. Okay. Sagis, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Uh, with that being said, remember to check out the information in my description box. You never know. You may just find what you're looking for. And you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Bye.